Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and today I'm showing you how I made a coffee-themed meal. Finally! <laughs> um, I started my channel a couple years ago, I don't actually know how long ago, and I always ask people what are the videos you want to see? Coffee themed meal or coffee themed projects is the most named answer and it took me a couple years, I collected supplies for quite a while but here we finally are. I'm showing you some of the supplies I'm using that I found in my stash just to give you inspiration and in the top left corner you can see pictures that were shared on Instagram with the hashtag the paper letter blog. I absolutely love seeing these. Um, if you were ever inspired by one of my videos you can use the hashtag. If you're a public account I can show it in one of my videos and you could be on the screen together with my naughty cat Sage. I mean that's goals. Right, that's good. Also, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Um, so yeah, so just being a little bit annoying, uh, I just had a little drawer that I filled with things that I thought I could use. And the last thing is a very simple trick or tip that you could do for coffee themed meal and that is to coffee dye or coffee stain your own paper. All you need is a cold coffee <laughs> and a paintbrush and some paper and you can make your own vintage looking uh, coffee paper which I think is very cool as you can see I didn't just dye printer paper but also music note paper and doilies and stuff like that. I even dyed some tissue paper that was in a shoebox. <laughs> Now, because coffee is generally quite brown and dark, I wanted the cover of the flipbook to be white so that it kind of balanced out the darkness. I'm also going to be using some color in this, which is mainly green, just to once again find a bit of balance. Hmm. I almost forgot the most important part for this meal. I am repurposing a junk meal envelope, which is something I absolutely love doing. First of all, I am trying to be more sustainable and repurposing is much better than throwing away. But also, I just love those little windows um, and they're really fun, like sneak peeks into what is behind them. So what you saw me do is just trying to figure out how I'm folding this. I don't have measurements for this. I'm not going to give you any measurements for this because the most fun part is just to figure it out yourself. You can do so many different things with repurposed envelopes but of course they're not really pretty so the next thing I'm doing is I'm just covering it up with some paper. As you can see I'm using brown cardstock because that's just fun I don't know why um, but like I said I am balance balancing that out with some lighter colors just so that it wouldn't be too depressing. <clears throat> I did decide to distress the edges with some ink so that um, it would all blend in more nicely and I just think that looks pretty. I wanted the window to be visible so I'm going to tear a little new window into it basically and then we will be stitching the flip uh, the, the envelope into the cover basically. <clears throat> so it's really simple and as you can see I'm just working with I'm working by sight here I'm just uh, enjoying the process not thinking about it too much because that does take away some of the fun and the last thing I did is I just cut open two sides so that I had a pocket this one opens from the top and the one on the right opens from the side and as you can see we still have the window intact <laughs> Um, the envelope I used was from our energy company to say that they would be doing maintenance. <laughs> they sent us two envelopes for two maintenance appointments. Uh, so I had two envelopes to work with. <laughs> um, I did a project with a window envelope once before because we did a challenge over on Patreon to like repurpose stuff. Um, I will link that down below in case you're interested. I think these envelopes are so much fun to reuse and I just love the idea of not letting them go to waste. <clears throat> the reason why I'm finally doing a coffee themed meal, apart from all of you asking for it for years, um, is because we are doing a challenge on Patreon, again I talk about Patreon, um, to make a meal with a hot drinks theme. For me that's coffee, for others it might be tea or chai or matcha or something like that so 
I really, really enjoyed this and I thought it was the perfect excuse to finally upload this video. Now that the base of this project is done, I'm going to start decorating. I have to admit it was a bit challenging because I've been so used to working with like sets of paper and matching stuff. It was a little bit challenging to go back to the basics and just work with everything. Um, just work with random things basically but it was also a lot of fun and i think um these kind of things are very important for my creativity because working with sets of paper and matching things is very nice and it's really calming and relaxing but i think this sparks more creativity because when you find something that is a perfect match to something you've been working with that just brings joy. I, I have that happen in this project a couple of times and it just makes me very, very pleased. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just um, covering up the front of the flip book. Um, like I said, I did want to work with white mainly to create kind of a clean look. I don't know if that makes sense, um, but I am, of course, uh, I'm always a little bit intimidated if it's just white. So I'm covering it up with some old paper and then the paper at the top is uh, coffee stained tissue paper that was in a shoe box. That turned out so wonderfully. I highly recommend because it's still, still kind of see-through. So if you put this over a book page, that just looks really fun. <laughs> And then the coffee image is from Flow Magazine. I saved that, I don't know how long ago, maybe two years ago already. I just knew I had to use it because it's quite, uh, I mean, it's obviously coffee themed and it's quite big. So it covers up a lot of the front, which is nice. Kind of like an eye catching piece. I collected many things such as stickers people have sent me over the years. Um, and I also have stamps. <laughs> uh, so I'm just using those to create kind of the base of yeah the background i guess i should say um i have some dark like black ink but i also wanted to use that sage green to kind of create um, a sort of color scheme i actually think this worked out really well i love working with vintage papers nowadays but sometimes it can be a little bit to brown so I think it's a really good idea uh, pats self on shoulder to find a contrasting yet complementing color I um, don't know if that helps anyone I just thought I would share the coffee girl you can see uh, lying beneath the uh, stamps is actually from a patreon page I've been pledging to it's called hippie post and basically I'm in a tier that gets two printables every month this is not sponsored I pay this with my own money but it's been so much fun she has all of these um, sticker girls of course I don't have sticker paper so I just print them on regular paper and I cut them up by hand and they're so pretty and they're such a fun focal point so I knew I had to Focus point. What is it? Focal point? Focus point. I don't know. So I just knew I had to use them. Uh, I think I'm, am I going to use it on this page or on the next? I don't actually recall. I have to say one more thing and that is that I have not yet sent this project out. I'm still looking for the perfect receiver. I don't think the perfect receiver exists, but I, I just know that one day I will have a letter to reply to that I think this person will really like this that person will really like this project. So just holding on to it for now. I also have to admit I finished it only yesterday. So it's not that crazy that I haven't sent it out yet. But because we're doing the hot drinks theme on Patreon now, I wanted to upload it right away rather than wait for it to be received by someone. So <laughs> maybe in like six months from now, this could be falling on your doorstep. I also decided, or I had the idea to keep the inside of the flipbook, like the white cover, just blank and just to focus on the um, the envelope pages that I had. So like start with a white page and end with a white page. That is a little bit different from what I usually do. Usually I will have a lot of filled and busy prints and I wouldn't usually leave a page blank, but I just thought it would be nice to have once again that contrast and then in the end I cover the back page with a pocket I had made <laughs> just because that uh, worked out better but you know 
And the reason why I'm covering up the left page here with just some regular paper is because working with white paper when you're as messy as I am is terrifying. And I was just really afraid of accidentally smudging or smearing or damaging or making dirty this left page that was so crisp white. <laughs> I covered it up with some other paper. Then of course, because I'm using a uh, craft paper, I'm using the white jelly roll, which is a lovely contrast. The stamp I used says, how have you been? Like bean, you know, like coffee beans. It's not a typo, that's intentional. <laughs> I just think it's really cute. And then, uh, oh yeah, quick, 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 quick explanation. These embellishments are made for me by my pen pal, Amelia. And I'm going to use the one, the coffee one with the green in it because of course that once again balances out my page. Later on in the project though. As you can see I had an outfit change. I worked on this project for quite a few weeks actually. I, I haven't been too creative which is something that comes back every now and then. Uh, but it, I, it was just really fun to work on this for like an hour at a time. People often, something I really often hear is people saying Vivian you are so fast. No, this project took me three to four hours at least. That is only the things that I filmed. So not even um, me stitching in those projects, this project, like I, I didn't film the sewing part. I just did that off camera. So in total, I would say it's about four to five hours for one project, including like thinking time and off camera time and things like cutting out that little image that I ended up not using. So no, I am not fast. I think I'm actually a pretty slow crafter, but that is good because I enjoy that a lot. Once again, taking out my trusty edge distressing tool. This basically makes an edge look like it's torn and I just really like that. So while we are decorating, there's a sticker girl. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit of a life update because I actually got a lot of response on my last life update. You may not realize this, but it has actually been a couple weeks since I made a video. I have been uploading consistently because I scheduled videos like I worked ahead and I had videos lined up to be uploaded for weeks but I did not actually work on videos during that time <laughs> like this is the first time I'm working on videos in like a month or something uh, because the Netherlands went back to normal I can't believe how many times I've told this story because we just go we have a lockdown and then we go back out of lockdown and then we go back into the lockdown and then we go back out. So this was our third lockdown, which I think is quite a lot. And um, we just went out of the third lockdown. So I um, scheduled videos because I knew that going back to work always takes a little bit of adjustment. The past, the past lockdown I did work, but just takeaway, which was kind of chill actually i mean it was really nice to still have a job and to still go to work and to still have a purpose and still see my co-workers um but I, it wasn't as uh intense or as um tiring as my job usually is i work as a waitress for those of you that don't know just making coffees is not as tiring as being an actual waitress a full day so I gave myself some space to just get adjusted to that and not have to worry about making videos and making content and not have to worry about YouTube hating me if I didn't upload consistently. So it was actually really nice to take that break. I did a lot of things that didn't involve crafting such as playing The Sims 4 for hours. I also purchased Mario Kart and I just, you know, <laughs> did a lot of things that didn't involve thinking about crafting or YouTube. I, it's not that I don't enjoy crafting anymore. It was just really nice to not have that time pressure of YouTube uploading schedules, <laughs> but it's also really good to be back. I just really missed sharing um, my life, I guess, and making little videos <laughs> and getting your uh, comments on them. I always really, really appreciate that. Mm. I was going to tell you a story. Yes, yes, yes. Because the last story I told before um, the scheduled videos is that I had my blood tested because I have chronic fatigue. I'm always tired. I'm Basically, I have the energy level of a 90 year old and uh, 
I've been to doctors many times and they never found anything or they found little things and never knew what to do with them. So I went to an alternative doctor now and they tested my blood for a hundred things, I don't know. And they found stuff <laughs> and um, it's kind of weird to be excited about that but I'm actually excited about it because when they find something it means you can do something about it so I won't bother you with all of the results but basically my gut health is terrible um, I'm completely out of balance it was pretty bad actually and I also have food intolerances which kind of sucks but of course those are kind of um, they work together like my gut health is not okay because I have food intolerances and also the food intolerances are way worse because my gut health is not good. So long story short, uh, my um, immune system is working in overdrive the whole time, which of course causes fatigue and there's a lot more things but I don't even understand all of it and I won't bother you with too much of it. But long story short is that I now have a couple months plan to improve my gut health and to work with the food intolerances and to take in more vitamins because I do take vitamin supplements but if your gut health isn't good you basically can't absorb the vitamins and the minerals from food. So it's still a long story, I'm sorry about that, but basically I have a plan and I have all of my fingers, all of my toes crossed that in a couple months from now, I will have more energy and <laughs> my gut health will improve and I will be feeling better. And I'm just so excited because I'm excited and just uh, impatiently waiting for everything to improve. So if you have been following along with my chronic fatigue, because it's something you recognize, I would highly recommend going to an alternative doctor. Um, if you're in the Netherlands, my blood test was called EMB. It's just basically, uh, this is offered by many different doctors, basically. Uh, I think it might be something international. So if you've been waiting for uh, a sign, this is it. Don't give up. I gave up and um, after years of being super tired, I just gave up. I didn't know what to do about it anymore. And then this came on my path and I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad it did because uh, I don't know. I just I have so much hope that it's going to improve and I just wanted to share that. So in the background, I am, I'm not good at hand lettering. This is a message for someone who's sometimes listening to my videos and who keeps telling me to write things. I'm not good at hand lettering. <laughs> but you know who you are um but i want to learn so i want to learn in my crafty hobby not at work um so i am trying with these um, what are they called again super tips crayola super tips they're super affordable they're really cheap actually and they just work really well so what i did is i created the word letter with light brown and then I went over the bottom half with dark brown and then I colored it in with some I, I made like little dots with the jelly rolls and I think it looks really cute so that was my attempt at hand lettering um, I basically just created a little header for the letter that you will see through that little window This is different from my usual style, but I think it turned out quite nice. Um, yeah. So then after this, I'm working ahead. Oh yeah, I have these cute little stickers. I purchased them a long time ago <laughs> with this video in mind and I'm finally using them. So I just used one to decorate the letter a little bit more. Of course, I still have to write the letter because it doesn't have a recipient just yet. But then we are going to decorate that page. I didn't want to do too much to it because I really like the grid design. It's difficult to see, but the page is actually a little greener than it looks now. <laughs> so I just thought that was pretty. So what I'm doing is I'm just decorating it a little bit with some washi tape samples I have and some coffee, more of the coffee stickers, basically. Um, I have uh, my washi tape samples on rings now, which I think is very clever. I separated them into two piles first, <clears throat> 
one with like grid designs and simple designs which are actually my favorite to create um, like backgrounds with and the other ring has busier prints such as florals and just prints in general uh, it's it actually works really well because when I need a washi tape sample now or when I want to use washi tape I can just flip through the tags and find what I'm looking for so thank you everyone who has sent me uh, washi tape samples um, <clears throat> these wax seals I made on camera but not for this video I will be posting them in a wax sealing video I'm gonna do in a couple weeks time I basically wanted to create or to gift coffee themed goodies and I thought I would make wax seals inspired by coffee so um they're kind of brown and some of them are brown and white you know to have like milk in your coffee and i also made some grayish white ones to i don't know if this is weird but it kind of resembles me of earl gray tea so i actually had a lot of fun working with a theme for my wax seals i think i want to do that more often um like i said i will show them in a video in the future um but i have coffee themed things that i wanted to gift such as that little mini paper pad and these to-do lists that have coffee jugs on them but i didn't really know how to put them into the pocket because i was afraid if i put them all in a gift bag it would just be bulky and it wouldn't look nice so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a layered pocket basically i'm just creating three different pockets on a page <laughs> it's going to be very fun i'm just eyeballing this um, and it's, I'm basically creating space for all of the pockets because if I would put them all in one pocket it would be bulky and the flipbook would have like a fat it would be too fat to fit but this way I can spread them out can put goodies at the top and at the bottom and I have no clue if this makes sense but to me it made a lot of sense and I actually really like this so I just um, made pockets to specifically fit the goodies I had in mind and to leave some space so that they the goodies would actually be peeking out at the top so you can already see those little coffee papers and you can see a bit of the the labels peeking out and you just get it looks nice and it's functional and my idea was to put this pocket page I don't know what you would call this into a pocket um, so you can just take it out and then have all the goodies but then it was still I didn't like putting it in the pocket because I, you couldn't see it anymore so I ended up actually gluing it at the last page but you will see that when we get to that of course um so that's the last thing I'm doing and actually I actually did this yesterday because I don't know I was I, 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 I knew I wanted to upload a video but I wasn't really feeling like crafting so I postponed it for a very long time and then in the end I did love how this turned out and my original idea was to put three pages three pockets on this page but then as you can see I have space left at the bottom and I just decided to stick the wax seals there I didn't decorate the pockets because I thought the receiver could reuse this and I also just liked that look of the goodies <laughs> that's all the decoration I need So yes, I am definitely going to be doing this more often. There's just tons of space for goodies and it looks pretty and it's functional and it's one of my favorite things. This would also be really fun to do on the back of a postcard. I've done that before, like a layered or a loaded postcard, but that's just, yeah, you know, keep that in mind. <laughs> um, I also want to say with these, while I'm sticking down the wax seals, I would love to see more ideas with the junk mail envelopes i have already seen quite a few i'm of course not the first one to do this but if you ever make a project and you share it on instagram or even on youtube feel free to send it to me tag me in the picture on instagram or use the hashtag the paper letter blog I want to share them and I also could use more ideas for videos because I personally get very enthusiastic from projects like this. First of all, because for me, it just sparks creativity because it helps me think outside the box. But also, I just love the idea of more sustainable crafting. Um, yeah, just re repurposing instead of 
uh, only being annoyed at those stupid uh, <laughs> envelopes. So this is me sticking the pocket into the pocket and I didn't like it and then I thought maybe I can stick it at the back page and that's what I ended up doing. <laughs> um, so I am sticking it down but I'm totally okay with the recipient repurposing this or cutting it off or, or tearing it off or whatever. I mean, it's just a basic pocket and I'm totally okay if you want to reuse that. Just as long as someone doesn't just take my entire mail and send it to someone else. <laughs> that would be a little bit weird. So I also included some washi dots because the colors match this project so perfectly and they're just really fun. And then I'm just rearranging everything for the final close-ups. Um, while you're watching me do that, don't worry, we will get one in better lighting. Oh yeah, did I tell you that I included those sticker sheets? I don't think I did. I had those sticker sheets in my stash to work with and I ended up just including them as goodies. But I wanted to give a big thank you, not only, not exclusively to all of you watching my videos and commenting and liking them, but also to the people who have recently joined my Patreon. Um, Patreon is a subscription based website um, where you can join to not only support my channel but to also get extra content. It depends on how I feel but I will upload things like videos, an extra video every now and then or a giveaway. We do swaps. I have printables sometimes. I have so many different things. Um, and if you have been thinking of joining and supporting my channel, now would be the perfect time to sign up because I currently have another swap running uh, that you could join. So if you have been thinking of signing up, now is the perfect time. You also, of course, you don't just get extra content, but you also help me grow. It's a place for me to expand my, um, yeah, to expand my setup I guess and to it's a safe space for me <laughs> I'm not very good at promoting this but if you have been thinking of signing up uh, the link is in the description down below you can sign up for as long or as short as you'd like so even if it's just a month I'm just eternally grateful then I am going to say my goodbyes. Um, I hope you've all been well. Don't forget to use the hashtag of the paper letter blog if you ever make something that is inspired by this video or one of my other videos. I would absolutely love to see it and to share it on Instagram. Uh, that's one of the most fun parts. And um, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I never know what to say, but thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what is your favorite hot drink, if you're still here. I think mine is pretty obvious, but you know, I would love to hear yours. And I will talk to you soon. Talk to you soon? Yeah, okay. <laughs> thank you so much. I already said that. Okay, bye.